The shipping industry is facing very tough times. Uh, freight rates are at historic lows um, and the, the value of disputes spinning off uh, vessels is far, far less than it was sort of five, ten years ago. Um, so there are some serious insolvency issues arising and of course the, the Hanjin saga has been in the press um, regularly recently. One consequence of this is that a lot of lawyers that previously were not involved with shipping jargon, with shipping terminology in the shipping industry are indeed now um, becoming familiar with some of the, the concepts and the, and the jargon. So people that once upon a time would not have known about a voyage charter as opposed to a, a time charter would not have known the difference between freight and hire and would not have contemplated arresting a vessel are now reading into the topic. Um, so it is now fairly common knowledge amongst commercial lawyers that an arrest is an available option if you are, for example, uh, looking to secure assets on behalf of a lender, uh, a lender to a, a shipping uh, uh, borrower. Uh, what is less uh, commonly known, and this is perhaps an interesting aspect that I wanted to bring up today, is that an arrest is also available in relation to a pleasure craft in relation to a, an expensive yacht or indeed a super yacht. Uh, and that is indeed what we recently uh, performed for a, a well-known international shipbroker. Uh, we have all read in the news the efforts being taken to secure um, assets, including Hanjin vessels. Um, th those efforts are all being made in the context of securing commercial assets. And what is, uh, uh, what, what is also uh, available to a uh, in, in a non-container vessel or non-bulker uh, context is an arrest in relation to a pleasure craft or a super yacht. Now we have recently performed just such an arrest in Hong Kong uh, and we sold our vessel uh, through the High Court. Um, so this was an expensive pleasure craft. Uh, the, the law governing the sale of a pleasure craft is essentially exactly the same as the law governing the sale of any chattel. Uh, a, a pleasure craft or a super yacht is a very large chattel. It happens to be a floating chattel. Uh, so the sale of goods ordinance with all the, uh, the implied terms as to fitness for purpose, etc., uh, is, is the relevant ordinance. What is unique about dealing with an arrest of a pleasure craft is that in the event of a default, uh, as indeed was the case uh, that, that we dealt with recently, one then has recourse to the High Court Ordinance and one has recourse to Section 12 of the High Court Ordinance, which is exactly the same section that one deploys when you are arresting a very large commercial vessel, whether that be a container vessel or a bulker.